This started when I was like tinkering around with a Raspberry Pi, trying to build like an emulation box and all that sort of thing. And I found that it was lacking uh, for some N64 games and some PlayStation games. It just didn't have enough horsepower. And I was like, you know what? I want a box that really works. So as I was looking around, in our, one of our trips to uh, China, I found this. We've got a quad-core ARM processor that's running at two gigahertz. Uh, we have two gigabytes of memory, a Mali 450 running at around 600 megahertz, and we have 16 gigabytes of internal memory. While we're at it, we've got uh, Ethernet on the back, we've got HDMI that's capable of up to 4K, and you can use that for like media and stuff, not really for games. Uh, you've got AV SP diff on the back. Uh, we've got four USB 2.0 ports, which is exactly what you want for controllers, and then we have an SD or a TF card slot. This is a full-size SD card slot. Now, what we've done here is we've taken Kodi, which is a very popular Android TV, what standard comes on, you know, these kind of things. We, we left that on there, but we also have RetroArch on there. Now, RetroArch, the version we have is called Lockup. It is a piece of software that has all kinds of different cores for uh, like emulation. You know, you, you can play uh, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Game Boy, Game Boy Advanced, dual screen, and 64 support is pretty good. I've, I've, a couple games here and there will have some artifacting, but most of the games ran amazingly well. Uh, PS1 is about the same, really, really good in most games. PSP, Sega Genesis, Mega Drive, 32X, TurboGrafx-16, uh, DOSBox can be played on here, ScumVM, uh, Atari, everything from like Linux, Jaguar, the old Atari, that all works. Uh, Coco Game Gear, 3DO, and lots and lots of arcade games. We're talking Neo Geo, we're talking the Capcom games, and also lots and lots of old school uh, games. All that can be played with Lockup. So we pre-installed this stuff. We are not selling the software. Guys, this is all GPL. We're not gonna sell the software. Guys, we got a very small quantity of this uh, and we did the installation, so there's labor involved there. It's a DIY kit that we DIY'd for you so you could save a lot of time. So that like the Nintendo games, the Sega games, most of those run right out of the box. We cannot provide uh, BIOSes. So some of the arcade systems, uh, Neo Geo, some of the Capcom stuff and that sort of thing, they need a BIOS file. And you guys can go online and figure out how to get that and throw it on here and then you'll be just fine. Uh, but you guys can do that. I've got some tutorials over on Beer Games Beer, so just hop over there and check out the Locka tutorials and you guys will be completely set. The basics of getting this up and running are right over on noticemesenpai.com, spelled just like this, noticemesenpai.com. Let's talk about this controller. So this is an OEM product. Um, while we were in Hong Kong looking around, I was at an OEM fair and I went around for all these booths. And guys, I touched hundreds of controllers and felt them and you know tested them out and played with them. And my goal was that I wanted a controller that did not feel like the player two little brother controller. So you've got the nice premium controller that came with your console, but your parents cheaped out and went to some like cut rate big box store and bought him the Mad Cats and that's what he's got. Well, I wanted one that did not feel like that. I wanted one that felt like the Player One controller. And then I finally found uh, this little guy right here. So you may have seen this on Amazon in Bluetooth. We decided to go with 2.4 gigahertz wireless. Uh, and I really like the way this is working and the way it feels. I've just been playing, I've been playing a ton of games with this thing on the Senpai this week. And I, I don't really have any complaints. Now, in order to get this to work, when you first plug it in to charge, it will blink slowly, letting you know that it's charging. Make sure you charge it for several hours or else it's gonna have really terrible performance and you're gonna be mad. like. It does not come fully charged out of the box, uh, so so just charge it first. When you turn it on, there's an on and off switch in the back. When you turn it on, it starts searching for connection and it'll blink very fast. This can connect uh, direct input or X input. So you can use either one of those you like. That means you can play almost anything. Uh, X input means it's gonna show up as an Xbox controller on your PC or here on the Senpai, and that makes life easy. We've even matched these buttons up with the buttons on the Xbox just to make everything seamless and easy. If you wanna use it as direct input, hold down the home button for five or six seconds and it will switch over to just a regular controller and you can remap all the buttons here in the Senpai or in the software. The only reason I think people might wanna do that is you can remap the clear and the turbo button when you do it that way. These just become regular buttons uh, and you might wanna re remap this as, you know, like quick save and quick load, which you can do in a lot of these emulators. So how do I play this machine? Well, I hang out and I plug up a keyboard to this and sometimes I use a mouse as well because mouse will work with this. I mean, it's, it's Linux after all, it's open source stuff here. So I plug up a keyboard and I set up a bunch of keyboard hotkeys, get myself a cup of coffee or a cup of tea or a glass of beer depending on the time of day, all three usually at the same time on the desk, and I hang out and play. Now the keyboard is used for quick save and quick load and just some other shortcuts and that sort of thing. And I love playing that way because let's face it, back in the day we had time to fall off the same cliff 90 times, but now we don't. We got stuff to do, so quick save and quick load are really cool. So that's it guys, go ahead and uh, grab one of these. They're on Amazon. They're gonna be on Amazon UK as well. So people in Europe, how's it going? Good to see you. 
Um, let us know what you guys think in the comments. And listen, if you're someone who loves to tinker and loves to build, by all means, you guys can go and build one of these and still come over and grab one of these controllers or use some of our uh, you know, software tutorials and that sort of thing. There's plenty of software tutorials, but you guys can come and watch those if you like. I'm not trying to tell people who want to DIY not to DIY. I'm just saying that if you want to save some time and have something that you know, you know is going to work, we have DIY'd it for you. So right here it is, the Simpai. Share this with your friends, uh, especially the ones that are about to buy, you know, like the, the SNES Classic and stuff like that, because this will do all that and a lot, lot more. I'll see you guys later.